Oh no! Look at it, man. Well, I was like, everything the first aid kit back. Unbelievable. It's not a good feeling knowing that your passport's out there, yeah. you know? Straight into a crime scene. Not again! <laughs> oh, look how good it is! Oh no! You know how bad I wish we had the career van here? Oh, no. uh, dude, it's been wild for taking these guys around town. <laughs> We've been asking uh, James about all the architecture. I, which I, he I knows is very knowledgeable. No, no very knowledgeable. at all. They're like, what about this building? Like anything made of red brick. They're like, what about this building? The I'm best like, I don't know. Was... I actually know where we are now, but only <laughs> only because I've been here for the last two days. So this is the Honorable Artillery Company. This is effectively a sort of artillery storage. Because well, underneath, down that ramp there, tank, there's literally there are tanks. tanks down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we see them? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that is, uh, Who that, do we need that to doesn't talk get to? us this far. To the like that roof dropping off. Yeah. So on like a normal Crow GT, if there is such a thing, it doesn't have that sloping transition. It just sort of falls off there. I always thought the Crow GT looked good. You know, I'm not sure if it needs the slope, but it's cool. In my opinion, it doesn't. I'll, I'll be the one to say it. Isn't that what Bond drove? Yes. That is sick. I think that might be a four, actually, not five. That's a cool car. Have you ever been interested in classics or? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is one of my favorite classics. It's a cool. A Goldwing yeah. SL. Yeah, which like, they have one here. I see a lot of these uh, because, funny here. enough, Rudy and Co., the guy who was the original restoration guru of SL Gullwings or all SL anything, was in Victoria, Vancouver Island in British Columbia. So, right. so I've down seen, the road. Yeah, I've had friends, you yeah. know, we made a video with a friend who spent two years, $1 million restoring an SL. Wow. And the two days after he got the car back, he gave the keys to me and was like, yeah, rip, like, rip it around. He's like, they're bulletproof, rip it around. So we ripped around an, an SL, a Dino, and an actual Porsche Speedster. Wow. So we did like a classics video. And just like your audience, above, my audience didn't give two fucks. Above average day out. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I don't know why, but the majority of you guys don't seem to care when we put anything like older than an F40 out. It's like, that? yeah, so what? It's weird. There'll come no, a time where we'll be the guys talking about all these cars and yeah. the kids will be like, the kids will be like, what? The kids will be like, rubbish? it's slow, it's got a gas engine. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you missed that, what you're saying here is a scene from New Zealand, and am I right in saying that this is the founder of the company's back, yeah. back garden? So stage Done. one of the of the original track runs past this front door. And then that's his old house, and now the factory, and then his new house is yeah. somewhere up here. Up here. You know when you're a kid sketching out your like, dream, dream yeah. setup? <laughs> that's I mean, it. With it being so far out, are there any noise restrictions, or do you just send it? No, there's so many, the neighbors are so far away. Go How cool it. is that? Yeah, that's, you get a lot of runoff until Incredible. you don't, like the trees down there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to buy some more land down. So the land stopped up just over here. So we recently had to buy that's the neighbor's land basically to have runoff. Yeah. Yeah. To have the neighbor's land. Yeah. Dude, I need a daily driven exotics <laughs> liveried version of this driving around LA. Would you get in trouble with this on the road in LA? Or For sure. Is it, or is it hard but to... But tell me what cop I haven't met that would know the law anyhow. Uh, excuse me, sir. You have a no front plate ticket I'm about to give you. Look at the wheel. Yeah, it's a real, it's a real, it's a real like, single season formula experience. So there's your, there's, your, there's your pinky clutch, pinky clutch. left down, right up. Wow. It's, look, it's one of those things we could have made a lot lighter. So yeah. it's fully printed 3D titanium. We 3D printed it. titanium? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we coated in the gold ourselves. Yeah. Wow, that's very Same trendy. as every nut, bolt, screw, chassis plate. But these are what, 600, 600 and something thousand yeah, so pounds? Yeah, 650 US. Yeah. We've got JE Motorworks, which specializes in This is the one you had modding. built? Yeah. I have to see this. Yes, specializes in resto modding Land Rover Defenders. This isn't an, an actually an evolution of Thor 1. Check out the back of this, man. This. Yeah. First of all, the interior is on a whole other level. This. Four Recaros. Oh, Four Recaros in here. It's so 
god. So good. Dude. Detail in the stitching. It's quite cool. And the, oh, even the back, the back of the, of the seats. seats. Oh, it's cool. My goodness. It's so chill. But How nice much is... Celsius could you put in that? <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you were going to open that up and they were going to be in there. I was like, if you could you imagine if you shipped them halfway across the world yeah. for us? And I was like, I, use one right I was like, now. right now right is about now where is the like jet lag is kicking in. I think the Alcantara on the back of these, because these it's are standard, the they come like a plastic finish, right? The guy who configured this basically took our Gen 1 Thor which we did from ground one, which is like, I'm going to improve that massively. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, you know? He just took it and was like, how about we do this, we do this and do this. So it's, how it's long cool, did this but take? you know, six months. That's what? Right. Six months, yeah. That's Everything in here has been redone. Totally, yeah. yeah. So totally. these guys actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they actually yeah. put in the work. So Gary, the director of uh, Jay, he's like put his heart and soul into it and like turned it around. The interiors they're doing now, the engines they're doing now, it's just, Super, super cool. Awesome. Well, if we can't get the SVJ out, we're taking this. We'll I'm being it. careful when I touch Grab handles, out my billet. Very subtle gumball <laughs> rings on. <laughs> <laughs> subtle awesome. gumball rings. So we're going to take these up to Edinburgh and we're going to start the gumball in both of these cars. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, so because yeah. the SVJ is stuck in prison, what are we doing? You, you could hop in the white one if you want. Yes. Yeah. I would. You know, you could cross the line in that one. Hanging in my be, best friend's ride on the passenger side. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, that is, what are they calling it? <laughs> <laughs> the irony is they're going to get trailered all the way up to Edinburgh to start the rally to come back here again on Sunday. And then I have to peel off to Milla Milla if I get wheels. my passport back in time. So these are called air core carbon fiber wheels and unlike you know, most carbon fiber wheels that have an element of metal to them these are 100 percent carbon fiber these aren't like solid stalks of carbon they're completely hollow can you imagine carbon oh one of those? my there's goodness. no fixing that there's none there's no fixing that no. so how much so, is a wheel well a set's 100 grand so so 25,000. a corner then yeah. Hey, man. Right, How are nice you doing? Things. You good? Nice yeah, great. I need good, to get good. you in the back of a Land Rover. So this is Gary I was speaking about, who yeah. is responsible for making these Defenders so, the so awesome. They're amazing. So awesome, man. The really thing cool. would decimate everything that's ever been on the road over there. And no one makes anything that pretty. I thought there'd be like quite a big culture for it over there, but no. There would be, but yeah. people typically buy them and then just kind of drive them somewhat modified, like not anything not like, like that. that. Not no. like that. Uh, I would look good. What do you think? This is what we would call the Vancouver special. Everybody in Vancouver, for the most part, specs their cars with a white exterior and then red guts. I put my phone on the back. Oh, there you go. Oh, close the door. Just going. Just going. There you go. This one. Something about it never gets old. It never does because it's like watching someone in the rolls push the button and the door closes. Yeah. What's it you like know, driving this car? Because it doesn't shift gears. No, it's a way of explaining it. Imagine a V8 powered Tesla. So you've got the power and the grunt and the vibration and and sound of a V8, but you have the linear relentless pull and no gear changing of an electric car. Wow. And you also have the power of the V8 combined with the electric drivetrain for 1500 horsepower, and it weighs about the same as a BMW 3 Series. So this puts it into drive. Yeah, no, literally that puts it into neutral yeah. and also into reverse. Yeah. But there's also a system where if you pull and hold on the downshift paddle, there is something called KDD, which is Koenigsegg Direct Drive. So it's like theoretically dropping it down to its lowest available gear in feel. So it, it goes, okay, the optimized window for the most amount of throttle feel right now is, is this RPM band. And it will just like, Catapult you. <laughs> it's good fun, man. Right, so there is a magnetic holster for it down there. And then if you put your foot on the brake fairly hard and then just tap it, tap there once. In a second, we'll press it one more time when all of that's on. So that's sneak EV. So that is pure EV mode, but it's really for like getting it out of the garage quietly because it's restricted to around about six mile an hour, I think. And then if you do it again, it'll start up. There you go. Oh my God. Do you know what I mean? It's like a bassy sort of. Dude, submarine type of the sound of that behind your head i can feel it in the seat you feel it you it feels little... great it's really nice of darren to lend this to us to be honest if the svj doesn't turn up he probably would <laughs> i would not take that liability on it's not the money actually like i'm not saying i could afford to just buy this car but you know if i curbed a ram or something i could pay to fix it it's the how long would it take they're just not mass produced sure yeah, right? like if yeah, you ripped yeah. a mirror off 
Yeah. How long does it take to get a mirror? So the finish on that mirror. It's like the one you were talking about where they sand it down. Exactly. I watched so, your video. Yeah, so that's called KNC, which is Koenigsegg Naked Carbon. It effectively, they remove the epoxy yeah. from what would be a, a, a conventional carbon finish. Yeah. And the way they do it is they use hundreds of different layers of sandpaper that go down to like the most finite grain until they start to see just a hint yeah. of the raw carbon yeah. coming to turning black in yeah. the dust and then that's it once they're that far all of the like clear coat or epoxy is gone and that is pure naked exposed raw carbon fiber the crazy thing is when i watched your your video on the one car that's all like that yeah all i could picture were 50 people all sitting in a room together just doing this you're like how you doing over there a bit Damn like it. that it is a bit far. like that i went too far i went too far and everyone's like bob not again <laughs> this is your second hood <laughs> bob nobody knows this but they're still technically holding it for me where is it now just at the dealership just hanging out at august okay with a not for sale sign on it so we're talking about one of damon's favorite cars that he yes. has, is in like limbo sale yes that you sort of still have an option on yeah. i sold it to some friends that said they wouldn't sell it and they're holding their promise you know just to free up the money to do things that the internet's more interested in even though your seating position is still a little bit with that slight offset, offset tweak it's on it so little that it is really enjoyable like I've driven this yeah. flat out at, in LA, crazy nuts night with yeah. everybody, ripping around, and I could keep up with everybody with 500 horsepower. Amazing. Just how planted Lamborghini's platform is. It's really interesting listening to you talk about it because the way you're describing it is almost like a new car. Can yeah. you imagine what this was like when it launched? It must have warped people's brains. Absolutely. And this is really cool because when you take this off, when you pull these pins up, you pull them up and turn them, this engine cover comes up and it's attached to the engine. This is all functional, these roof scoops. So that is actually induction. Actually induction, induction into, the, into the engine. The current Lamborghini <laughs> yeah, does not it. have a functional roof scoop. What I quite like is this sort of uh, aero winglets on, yeah, these, it's got, on these windscreen wipers here. So what you probably haven't noticed, it looks like there's two, but there's actually, have a look, there's three windshield wipers on there, three blades. When you come to Canada, which I will force you guys to come Let's and visit it. me, we'll take all these different cars out and have some fun. Hands down, my favorite car of all time is still a manual Murcielago. A well-maintained manual Murcielago. Is where it's at. I think is the best money you could ever spend if you had to buy one car. That's bold. It is That's bold. That's very cool. Because it's enjoyable at low speeds, unlike a Carrera GT, which is a pain. At cruising speeds, you can rip it. It's really confidence inspiring. The clickiness of the gated Open shifter gated box. is amazing. And all you need to do is get rid of the factory muffler system and it is just V12 insane. bliss. And the doors go straight up. It's got that edgy, you know, wedge shape that Lamborghini's known for. Oh, here you go. This is the best car on earth. There's the that car. That is it. That's a manual gearbox. Open gated, manual mercy. I love this guy. This guy's going for the like- Authentic it's, it's out of the factory look OE, thing. yeah, factory, yeah. but get rid of those tires. The Old only thing tires. on this car that'll kill you are those tires. <laughs> you can open the back and play a little game where you turn your car on and then there's a kill switch in here for the battery. So you turn the car on, put the wings up, because the wings go up and down based on the speed of the car. Mm -hmm. They're programmed, but you can play a little trick where you go in, put them up, stay turn up. the car off, put the kill switch back on, turn the car back on, and they stay up forever. Yeah, and then you have to do some like funny reset thing to get them to go back down. When this thing launched, it looks so wild, and now it looks so minimalist. It compared does. to the Aventador. Oh, wait It's got so off. many scoops and shapes. Soon, we're gonna be able to park a Revuelto next to that, and we're yeah. gonna go, Aventador looks so standard now. So yeah. standard. <laughs> so last night, somebody broke into James's BMW. He had all of his valuables with him, all of his gold bullion, all of his watches, his diamonds. The insurance company has some questions. And they called me to go and investigate. It's like one of those one of those yeah. early MTV yeah, like shows, yes. you know? Yes. We've flown in from Canada straight into a crime scene. I love the channel. Fuck. You love the channel? We love the channel. Oh, how long have you been watching? Long time. Long time. Look, listen, what you year was this? 1972. Ooh, Beautiful. 1972. Beautiful. Don't get pulled over by him. The London police. London police. I know you guys have a track a, record a of getting shot. pulled over. A I the five zero. Anticipate I'm probably gonna get pulled over by the London police. I really hope you do. <laughs> I'm gonna. They're, they're gentle. They're, they're gentle. Yeah, they're gonna learn I'm not. <laughs> he said to make sure that I behave myself in the Dorchester. He said, don't be naughty. <laughs> 
This car should have been inside the show. All right, so we are exhibiting Koenigsegg London at London Concorde for three days. And this was recommended as like the place to park. Right, so I parked down here. Parked down here yesterday because we're at the show. We're here for three days and this is a good base and it's an NCP car park. Anyway, look. Oh no. Look at it, man. Well, I was like, everything. It was the first aid kit back there. It's the first aid kit back there and Lego sent my boys some Lego. No. Unbelievable. <laughs> and what's quite funny is I, I, I've left the Lego box in there with the car exposed and open and no one's taken <laughs> no <one's laughs> taken that. Mate, you wouldn't believe as well how far the glass goes. Well, you know firsthand. I know. Not that I had a sledgehammer to mine. But actually, I probably did. But anyway, came came back down and because I was in a There's rush to glass. get to the show because I was supposed to be on stage presenting a chat about Koenigsegg London, I was like rushing, just slammed my door and just left. And then I came back to it. Passport, laptop, cameras, AirPods, three hard drives, my entire clothes, luggage, new custom Nike ID blazers for the next two weeks, Van Niche. I have to bring up the fact, this is the closest thing I've ever been to. <gasps> that smells like the toilets in the Middle East that yeah. we saw in the middle of nowhere. It really it smells down, down here. here. It, that was a strong signal not to park down here, and still. This is so anyway, sick. Anyway, they should have stolen this because this is a couple of hundred quid right here. Look at that. Yeah. That is so cool. It is so cool. I'll build that with my boy. I've got, we've got glass on the front seat here. How does that get there from the rear window? I'm like not it. joking. Like, I'm not- It smells like poop. Like, it smells like urine and poop. I think it is poop. I think that drain is literally uh, the sewerage from London hey, coming up underneath. Those it seats really are insane. It reinforces you just how much- Look at those seats. Carry on you as like a daily, do you know what I mean? It really stinks down here. I was like a day. James, carry. those seats are beautiful. Thanks, man. So yeah. Anyway, we're gonna come back to this and figure out what the plan is. But yeah, this was this, this really this is supposed to be our support car up to Gumball. We're gonna have to see if we can turn that around, get a new Do rear screen ASAP. And this just stays up now because there's nothing to hold, there's it, nothing down. To hold it down. Nothing to hold it down. Unbelievable. Long story short. I, the reason I'm missing Gumball is because I've got to do the Miller Millia. And well, it's now because your car got broken into. And now, that's what I would use. Now I can't do either of them because I don't have a passport now because I stole the passport. Th that's so. the worst part. Like, so. We make jokes about it because we want to like obviously downplay it, but <laughs> well, the truth is, it sucks, man. The passport identity theft type of stuff is like a, a pain in the ass, and it's scary. Yeah, it's not like it's not a good feeling knowing that your passport's out there, yeah. you know, with all your real info. Yeah, info on like that. Everybody, someone out there really right, knows. I'm done playing jokes. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to get priority passport made. You yeah. Speak to the king. By the way, talking about the SVJ he needs to get out of jail. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we, so I've got no passport. We have no, no car. car. You got no car. It's a good start to the two weeks ahead. Well, if we both don't end up making our rallies, we're going to the pub. There you go. And there's many around oh, here. For a pint. A pint.